Hi, my name is Gabby and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to journal a couple of days in March and just fill in the rest of the week that we're currently on. I'm filming this and recording this on Sunday, March 19th, and I'm just catching up for the last couple of days worth of journaling, especially when doing my weekly spread. I like to do two or three days at a time just so that I know what's going on in the week and I can uh, make things um, go over a couple of days. An example of this would be when I wrote the word succession. Uh, on the left hand side I used a stencil for that and I knew that was the show we were going to be watching this week so I was able to um, write it out over the span of three days rather than three different times. And that's kind of why I like to do this weekly spread in like two bits, usually two or three bits. Um, so right now I am just gluing down some pictures of books and movies that I watched during the weekend. Um, I just print this using my pulley printer and I use their semi-transparent sticky paper. I really do struggle with the weekly spreads. I duplicate most of the information that I put in the weeklies and also put them in the dailies um, and just kind of expand on it a little bit more. Um, I don't know that I love that I do that, but I don't know what else, <laughs> how else to differentiate between the two. It's something I'm always thinking about and if something comes up that may be a better fit, I'll do that in the future. But for now, I'm still liking how they, these pages are looking. Right now, I'm just cutting out some emojis that I printed off on sticker paper using my printer. Um, basically, I just type it out and copy and paste them multiple times and, and do that for every emoji I want. And then I cut each one manually with scissors um, as I decide to use them. And I really love the way this looks. I know emoji stickers are a thing, but I've never purchased any. So this is good for now. So now we've moved on to the daily pages. I'm just printing off more pictures that I have printed using my pulley printer. Uh, the majority of these, well, about half of these are duplicates. I had already printed something for John Wick 3 and Luck of the Irish that I um, pasted on my weekly page. This is, this is just like a bigger version so I can expand on it a little bit more. Um, so that is what I'm doing now. One of my struggles when it comes to journaling is figuring out placement of things. I really go into a spread with no idea, no plan. I have no idea what it's gonna look like. I just kind of wing it and hope for the best. So I really do want to work on that. I want to kind of come up with a plan in my head and then execute it or try to execute it. I just think that it would make journaling a little easier, maybe take a little less time. Um, I know this video is only gonna be about 12 minutes long, but it took about an hour <laughs> to film and, and do everything. Um, I know that the page that I'm working on right now is a Saturday journaling page, and I wrote Sunday routine, and that's because we are trying to make a shift and no longer have a Sunday routine. We want to make it more of a weekend thing. Our Sunday routine would include going to the gym, cleaning the apartment, groceries, and then cooking. And by the time we were done with all of that, it felt like my Sunday was gone and I just had a little bit of time to unwind before getting ready for bed and work the next day. So in an effort to get our Sundays back, we are trying to do all those things throughout the weekend. The plan is to ideally clean after work on Fridays. We both work from home, so it's, we're not going to be tired or anything. Um, and then we would probably grocery shop on Saturday, and that just leaves Sundays to do what we want, to do nothing, to go out, whatever to journal and film like I'm doing today. I've really liked it. This was the first week doing it and I am all about it. <laughs> I feel like it's made a huge difference. That's Saturday, so yesterday 
when we woke up, it was 14 degrees out, but the feels like was negative two. So it was way too cold to be going out and walking to restaurants and spending time outside. So the only time we went outside was to do our grocery shopping and it was a very quick walk to the grocery store. We live very close. Um, so I felt like it needed to be documented. We've had a really mild winter. I mean, this is only like the first full winter that I've had here. We moved in February last year and we had some pretty, pretty cold days here in Chicago. But um, the fact that this winter has been mild and it's now late March, mid late March, um, and it, the feels like was negative too is kind of wild. So now I'm just doing a little bit of journaling on a book that I started reading, or I guess listening to. I've been on a thriller kick lately. I think it's been like four months of thrillers only. You can see on the left-hand side, I listened to My Lovely Wife and then started For Your Own Good by the same author. I just really, really love thrillers and decided to take a break from that and listen to a different book. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Um, I haven't gotten very far. It was just like during cleaning, like the hour that it took to clean um, on Saturday that I was listening to it. So if you just saw me flip to the back and add a little scrap of washi tape, that's where I keep all my washi scraps when I'm journaling. I have a page dedicated to it and I add to it when I have little washi ends to add to and it doesn't happen every time I journal but when it does I like to see it grow. So now we've moved on to today which is Sunday March 19th. I'm not going to journal the full page because Right now, I'm recording this voiceover at 1 p.m., um, so there's still plenty of day left that I want to make sure I have room to um, to document. I think I do fill up most of the page, but leave a little bit of room for anything else that may happen or I may want to write about. Most of my Sundays, I start with a to-do list. I used to get really, really bad Sunday scaries. I don't know why. I've always been this way. But now that I work from home on Mondays, it's a nice way to like ease into the work week. So I don't feel Sunday scaries as much anymore. Something that does help me is creating a to-do list of things that I want to do on Sunday before the week starts so that I have like a good start to the week and I'm not feeling overwhelmed with things that I need to get done or that I didn't get a chance to do over the weekend. Um, usually I do this on my phone at night, the night before, which is what I did now. And, that, and then on Sunday when I go into journal, I will write them out. So this little guy, Ralph Wiggum, is just an inside joke. <laughs> we pranked my sister and changed her Disney Plus profile picture to him. And she didn't notice for a while. And she was just like shocked at how this could have happened if none of us had done it. But we had done it. <laughs> um, so now I've updated her picture on my contacts, like on my phone, to him. And so I just printed a picture of him to add to my journal spread because I did that today. So now I am going to be gluing down um, just like a little bit of washi that I got from the bagel place that I went to this morning. I do this every time. I think I last time I did it was like last time I had a bagel. I also saved the washi and did it on camera. I'm pretty sure on a previous like journal with me video, but um, I just love these bagels so much and I love that they add a tiny little bit of washi because I never feel like I have ephemera from my daily life. So I like that this is one I can count on when I do go. I want to say this is the last little bit of journaling that I do on this page. Um, it's just like a meme thing that I found on Instagram about dogs so it says, teacher, you have five dogs and someone wants two of them. How many dogs do you have left? Me, five. 
teacher. Okay, let's say someone forcefully takes two dogs. What do you have now? Me, five dogs and a dead body. <laughs> and I just thought that was so funny. So I'm really trying to print off these like memes on the day that I find them and add them to that journaling page. If I forget, if there's too many or there's just not enough room on that page, then I want to add them to the screenshot dump that I'll do at the end of the month, which I've done for January and February. Um, I just think it's fun to add those things that I find amusing throughout the week to the spreads. I think that one of my next videos is going to be me putting together that page at the end of the month, um, if I have time. It's been so busy, so I haven't been able to film as much as I wanted to, so I just kind of have to take a step back if life gets a little busy, but now I'm just adding some of those Cricut shape stickers that I use all the time. Um, I just like to add them every once in a while because they add a little sparkle to the page, which I like. Now I am adding kind of like the section where I keep track of my rings, like my Apple Watch rings. Typically I do this before the week starts, but I had completely forgotten. I had not even noticed that I hadn't like put it together until I started doing the journaling today. Like not even earlier in the week. It's wild. I don't know what happened there. But typically I do this like the week before the week so that it's ready to go. And then I fill it out um, each day's information throughout the week as the week passes. So, But that's it for today's video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Bye.